Sarah Ingham in her natural habitat. <laughs> Literally every single time we're in the car. She is not loving life. So. Aurora, are you going on a coffee date, mate? What's we'll your problem? Until the very last minute to feed, which literally means as I'm driving out. And then hopefully. Grab you a beautiful away, baby. No. <laughs> Thank you, though. <laughs> so today, me and little Miss Aura are going out to meet one of my friends that I haven't seen for years. Actually, years. And. It's no one's fault. I moved all the way over here. I moved away. She's a friend from Bradford and she has eight beautiful children. Obviously, I've got six children and life's busy. <laughs> life's busy, but I'm so looking forward to going to meet her today and having a, a good old chin wag. I really feel like we're due one <laughs> after all this time. So I'm going to meet her today on a little coffee date at a, lit a place that's not too far. I think it's about half an hour drive from my house. And it's, I don't know if it's the actual first time I've been on my car on my own with Aurora, but it's definitely one of the first times. And this is probably the furthest I've been on my own with her. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm stressed. I'm really stressed out because she blooming does not love the car and it's okay when I'm sat at the side of her and I can give her a dummy and I can talk to her and I can put my face really close to hers because she's one of those babies that likes to hold your face you know she just likes to cup your face and get it really close and snuggle in and <sighs> yeah obviously I can't do that when I'm driving and no one's coming with me today so I'm a little bit nervous but I'm feeding her now <laughs> she's literally like at that twiddly stage where she's literally ripping boob apart she's feeding anyway um yeah i'm really looking forward to it so i've got aurora i've got everything i need i always feel really stressed coming out of the house like i've got this i've got that need nappies need this need to get wipes i need to get a drink i've got a card to buy a coffee literally just left with no card um i got my phone that was upstairs on charge i'm like i've got what what about aurora's water cup in case she gets thirsty if she has a lunch or something while we're out um that's not essential obviously i can just feed her but i'm trying to think of everything and then i almost forgot my good old celery juice which i would have been gutted about because i've been really good at drinking that every morning 16 ounce every morning and you're supposed to do it for like i think it said 10 days before you actually feel the benefits so if i'd have missed a day i would have felt devastated and annoyed at myself Anyway, I'm going to pass the camera back to Chris because he's going to do some vlogging today, I've told him. <laughs> so I'm not taking the lead every day. People are getting fed up with me. I say people are getting fed up with me. So I'm going to pass the camera back to Chris. I'm going to film anything that I feel. I don't think there'll be much for me to film today. And I'll catch up with you guys when I get back. Uh, Peppa Pig? Peppa? Where's Peppa? Peppa's there. Oh, there she is. Right, Peppa, what are you doing? You playing upstairs? Yeah. Okay, is your name still Pepper? Um, yes. Okay, what about George? Um, no. Now, what about Jace? <laughs> What's your name? Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. And Jace is George. Jace is George? Yeah. Okay, you want some lunch? Yes. Yeah. Okay, darling, I'll show you. No case. I'm gonna make you some lunch, okay? I'll show you in a minute. What's up, family? Lamb? So Sarah's out on a little lunch date with one of her friends, and we, before she comes and picks me up and it gets busy because we have to go to the shops and blah blah blah. I'm gonna make some lunch. Now meal times are becoming very important to me because I've been on the carnivore meal plan. I don't want to call it a diet because I don't know. I don't like the word diet. The carnivore meal plan for uh, ten days now. Um, so lunch for me is like, today it's actually going to be three boiled eggs. <laughs> eggs are gold. Like, if you don't have like at least six eggs in your diet per day, then you're tripping full. Eggs are gold. Uh, I'm not giving diet advice right now, but just to say, FYI, if anybody else is doing the carnivore meal plan, then um, let me know because I'm feeling freaking amazing. Like, so good. I don't wake up in the morning and feel tired anymore. I wake up in the morning and feel good to go. Every single day. Trust, mornings are hard for me usually. I don't get to sleep much as it is and I'm up till late working and then when I get up in the morning, I'm just like, it takes me a bit of time to feel all right again. Been waking up before my alarm, feeling awesome. 
and I'm feeling really good. You go through like a bit of a stage, like a few days in where your body goes into ketosis and you start to feel a bit like, I don't know, I felt a bit brain foggy for one day, but you skip straight past that and now I feel good. Now I feel really good. So loving that as well. And my trousers don't fit me anymore, which is another bonus. So yeah, man. Anyway, my whole point is that lunchtime is important to me and dinner time is important to me because I don't really get to snack in between. I'm trying not to snack in between on anything else other than what I'm supposed to be eating. Yes, darling. What's up, Peppa? What are you saying to me, Peppa Pig? We decided this morning over chats. Um, you're downstairs, okay. We decided over chats this morning whilst I was getting attacked by a razor. Nice one. That Mila's new name was Daddy? Pepper. Yes? Um, I want snack. But I'm going to make lunch now, fool. But I want snack. But we're going to have lunch now. Do you want to have lunch with Dada instead? Oh, um, yes. That's right. Come on, man. Put it there. Boom. Let's do it, okay? Right. Kay. You go get the table ready and I'll make the lunch. Okay, go get them. And of course, there wouldn't be a lunchtime without a disaster as I'm taking out the eggs. Nice one. Anyway, I'm going for hard boiled eggs today. Three hard boiled eggs. Yesterday I went for soft boiled eggs and by the third egg I was a bit like... what course I make my eggs today? And we're back home. I know Chris was planning on filming something whilst we were out, but we got halfway to the supermarket and Chris declared, oh, I've left the camera on the kitchen side. I'll tell you why he did that. Because you're not used to vlogging. <laughs> Because you rely on me. I'm only joking. Anyway, I did just get back home. I absolutely love it when I come home and this is what I'm greeted with. Absolutely perfect. Just the best. You know? Thanks, babe. Um, I'm just having a snack because I haven't eaten today. I'm blooming starving. So I'm having some Brazil nuts, a banana and some grapes. It's actually not too long until dinner time. And Chris is having... Oh. What? Lunch about an hour ago. <laughs> Isabel, I bought us a nice dinner tonight. Wait, no, my lips are burning. I've got a new Charlotte Tilbury lip gloss on. I, I think I've ordered the wrong one because it burns my lips. What? I did like 2.30. 2 2.30? What did you have? I had, oh my god, I had three slices of toast with cheese on top, mushrooms, pepper, onion, garlic. On toast? Yeah, but that's really good. Three slices of toast with cheese and well, onion and pepper it. and garlic. I cooked, the, I cooked all the peppers and the, the mushrooms in like paprika. Yeah, I guess that's no different really to like a bruschetta or something. Yeah, it was, it was just like that. I, I just did that and put it... But just on three slices of Warburton's instead. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not joking, we're not posh enough for Warburton's. We have Aldi's own toasty and it's delicious. <laughs> Oh, the seeded bread. Oh, oh the seeded so bread's good. so good. Um, I got us a got steak one. stir fry. Oh, why are you looking like that? A hoisting sauce as well. Steak stir fry. I like that, but does not like With noodles. noodles. Yeah. Noodles, Guys, <laughs> I bought this I bought this kit that came with like vegetables and it says for two and I swear to you, there's like four carrots in there. There's as much as I can't believe how it is me. Yeah. So I've seen it. Oh, seen it. She's like a deranged <laughs> It's so funny. <laughs> This is so clever. It's a TikTok of Esme's where she's hitting, where Esme's pretending to be a dog basically and Isla's hitting. I don't understand it at all. But she said it's a trend and that they made it funny and so there you go. Anyway, um, what I was going to say, yeah, Chris is for teased. What are you having tonight, babe? Steak and eggs and avocado. Steak, egg and avocado. Same as last night, same as the night before. Get out of my way. You're blocking my salt light. You're so beautiful, man. Right, I'm just gorgeous. Mm. Yeah, that. Not quite none of this out. <laughs> um. I forgot what I was saying now. Stop blushing, man. Give over. Uh, me and Isabel are going out tomorrow. We're going to get our eyebrows done. <laughs> Someone's asked me recently what my eyebrows, what eyebrow I use. I use browsings. Is it browsings that I use? Benefit. That little silver palette. That's what I use on these bad boys. Um, and Isabel's also having a hair done. And then, what is, and then we're actually going out with, to meet some friends. We're going to dinner at a friend's house. Oh, yeah. We were going to order in. It's, I'm actually really excited because we were going to order in some pizzas. We're like just spending the later afternoon and evening there. And we were going to order some pizzas, but instead, a husband's gone out and bought a blooming pizza oven and they're making the dough tonight and then fridging it. And then we're going to make our own pizzas in the pizza oven tomorrow. I actually cannot blooming wait. So that's going to be fun. 
Um, Jace has got his little friend there as well. It's it's the friend that's got a two year old daughter and a five year old little boy for Jason Miller to play with. So they're gonna absolutely love it. But um, yeah, what we do now? What we do today? I feel a bit lost today. I feel really discombobulated. The jammers are on. That's what it feels like today. It's an Aurora. She's like, get me in there. Get me in there. <laughs> It feels like a pyjama day. I'm discombobulated. We're pottering around doing random jobs. So Chris is about to go and paint the bathroom. You should Toilet see the state room. of it. I don't know what Mila's done to it, but know, she's guys, it. Look at this. This is the realities. This is the behind the scenes of the actual dirt of the Ingham house. This is the behind the scenes of every house all the kids. Probably. But look at the light. This is the only room this happens in, this light switch. There we go. Look at that. Can you see it on the walls? It's what? bad. It's much worse than that. No, it's not. It's, it's exactly what we can see. Turn the, Turn the light off. Turn the light off. There you go. Can you see it better there? You can see better there. Well, I mean, it's just a few grease stains or something. What they've put their yeah. wet hands on, isn't it? In fact, that's an actual handprint. Look, you can see the fingers. Hold, hold her on a second. Oh, These are the prints that people always say you'll miss when your children are grown up. I don't think Chris will, no. but um, I will. But yeah, in our house, we just we just paint over the poo on the wall and stuff. So that's just getting painted over. <laughs> It's not actually poo on the wall. The bathroom's right down there. It's not at the sink, just in the toilet room. Um, but yeah, there is little hand hand prints all over the walls here. That one's I can't, why is that one so cute to me? Like, does anyone else think that's cute? Like, look at the fingertips and the little thumb. Like that's that just looks cute to me. Oh, there we go. The camera's just adjusted. You can see what it actually looks like now. I might now. not be able to paint it, now you said that. You're tight. It's, you, you, you're erasing it. I'm erasing history. You're erasing it, but look how bad this section is here where they've... Do you know it's because this is where they... She'll put her hand on that to step... Put, to try and reach the light switch. Yeah. This is why it's only here. It's not down anywhere it's else in these walls. Hands are wet from the sink. Yeah. Oh yeah, when they're going back out as well. Turn the lights off. Yeah. And the hands are soaking wet from washing them after they've been to the toilet. But yeah, this is... Um, this is how disgusting the bathroom is right now. So Chris is just about to repaint over it. Right then, I'm just about to change Tiny Ted's bottom and then I am very excited because we're gonna get out one of her Christmas presents that I've been waiting to give her. But she needs to be sitting up, kind of needs to be sitting up to have this. So now that she's just learnt to sit up suddenly by yourself like a big girl, we're going to get it out for her and you're excited too, Jace, aren't you? Yeah. Very, very looks, excited. How is that, Jace? Another baby that you can play with her ears? <laughs> Who remembers when he used to do that to Mila? So sweet. Also, guys, I can't. Who just absolutely loves baby's chubby legs? <laughs> They're the cutest. Look at those rolls. Look at my girl's rollies. I'm all can I just go and roll you guys? Um, there we go. Bum bum all changed. Are you loving Aunt Jace? Whoa. Careful Jace. Careful. Remember she's only just learning to sit by herself. So balance isn't the best. And when you pull on her and pull her back a little bit, she could fall over. What have you got, tiny Ted? You could. Careful, Jace. Look at Rose like, get away. I told you once, I told you twice, leave me. <laughs> you love Jace. The amount of times that I have to say, Jace, the sofa's not a climbing frame. Right, guys, this is what I'm about to get out. I bought this at Christmas, and I actually can't remember what the two in one is. Like, why is this a two in one? What makes it a two in one activity board? I think it is two. I don't actually know. It says it's from 10 months, <laughs> but I'm sure she'll be able to sit and play with this now providing it's not actually quite as big as that box because that's rather large right let's get it out oh this looks good oh no let's have a look oh no this looks pretty good here we go you do where's the triangle one did you open the triangle one yeah i did got it pop it in oh rory's already pulling them out <gasps> what is this, Aurora? Mama, let me put it in. It's got lots of cool Where's features. The Where's the other Where's one? The other one? Oh, <laughs> I'll fall down. There we go. What's that? Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. What is it? Is that a big activity? 
cutie board. Mummy, oh no. <laughs> She's pulling the things out, isn't she? It looks really fun. There we go, we can count all them. Oh yeah, we can. You could count all of those. Me and Jace have been learning to count all the way to 50. Jace is doing so good with his oh, counting. Yeah. So it turns out that the um, two in one basically well, just means it can be as flat well, vertically. Yeah, can. <laughs> you can, you know what comes after 12. Continue. Third. Yeah? 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 19, 19 20 I know 21 22 23 oh, I was 24 you going darling 25 26 27 20 29 Tea. Right, I saw this hack online. It's not really a hack, is it a hack? No, it's not a hack. It's just this cool way to cook potatoes that looked cool, juicy, gorgeous, delicious, delicious looking jacket skins. And I thought tonight, I'm gonna cook some. <laughs> you know when you've not really eaten much all day and you're just starving at dinner time and just everything seems appetizing? That's where I'm at right now. So even though we're having a steak stir fry and this does not, potatoes, mm -mm -mm, doesn't go with this meal, you wanna bet it's going with this meal. So basically you cook some baby potatoes, the person had actually boiled them, I've put them in the air fryer. So the baby potatoes have got a little bit of olive oil drizzled on them and they're in the air fryer. Now I should probably add some salt and pepper, but because Jace, Mila and Aura will be eating them, I've not added any salt or pepper. I'm just gonna add that afterwards. They've just buzzed. Let's go give them a shake. Oh, hello. Right, I've just put them on for about four more minutes. So when they're done, I'll show you what I'm actually gonna do. But basically what you do in a nutshell is we're gonna put them into here and then kind of get something, I don't even know what I'm gonna use yet, but get something to crush them down into like cups. And then we're gonna add some of this, basil and oregano oregano um to the bottom add some cheese slice up a bit of pepperoni and shred that in there bit of cheese on top and then we're going to pop them in the oven just for like i don't know eight ten minutes something like that the potatoes are already cooked so we're just melting the cheese get them out and then put a little dollop of this reduced fat sour cream and chive on top now not the healthiest um but we're going for it <laughs> i was trying to think of an excuse to justify why i'm having potato with cream cheese on top but there is no excuse i just want it so i'm having it and we also got this morocco a moroccan inspired yogurt dip as well to go with them it looked so delicious online that i've just got to do it today you know when you see something and you're like i need to try that and i need to try it right now that's how i feel about this it might be a fail but you guys all know because you can do it with me so we're having like a beef steak stir fry with veggies and some noodles and some hoisin and we're having jacket potato things on the side <laughs> right we've got our cups and now i'm actually going to put a bit of salt on the ones that the kids are not going to have so i'm going to add some salt and then add some of the tomato. Okay, that's now done. And now I'm going to probably just rip into this. I'm just gonna go for it, guys. I'm not gonna bother cutting, I'm just gonna rip into it, throw some mozzarella in and some pepperoni. Okay, I tucked the mozzarella underneath the pepperoni as best as I could and then I put a sprinkling of cheddar on top and now I'm just gonna pop these in the oven for about 10 minutes. Whilst those are in the oven, I've got Chris's steak cooking slowly here. Already prepared his avocado, I need to fry him some eggs. And I've got mine, Chris and the younger threes, um, what's it called, stir fry, sizzling away nicely here. 
I don't know why the steak suddenly just started sizzling away. <laughs> I don't think Chris is going to like this tonight, guys. I've got to say, it's really fat. I just don't think it's going to be his cup of tea. And just like that, dinner is like that. done. Oh, dang. What are these oh, from, guys? They look so good. They look good, don't they? Yeah, they do look really good. Let's scoop them out. Oh, wait. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh no. Are you having one? Just oh, have one. Just one. Just have one. Oh, that looks so good. And there we have it. Now, like I said, I'm not. Say oh, yeah, ignore Chris shouting as a bone. I'm not saying that the potatoes <laughs> would be for everyone with a stir fry, but I'm not asking everyone to eat it, only me. This looks so delicious.